Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I wanted to do a redo of my updated setup for the Hobonichi Weeks 2021. My original video had a really loud audio during the music, and I want to apologize about that because I was editing it with one headphones on instead of two, so I didn't really listen <laughs> that the audio was louder than it should have. I just also want to warn you guys that I am currently in downtown Chicago, so there are a lot of background noises going on right now, so just please excuse that but yeah so i have been using this since the very first day you're able to use it so which was the end of november first week of december so if you've already seen my previous video it's pretty much similar to this one but this time around everything is pretty much in place set up and already being used but i'm gonna go through everything again in this video so for the cover i have the lauren phelps designed hobonichi weeks cover and i believe these also uh fit the mega and for the Hobonichi, I have the one in Latte Beige, and it's some sort of fabric. I've been getting something similar to this for the last three or four years now. I just have been playing with everything blue color, and so I decided that I wanted something different. The last two colors that I picked up was the Ramune, which was the light blue, and then the Gentle Navy, which was pretty much dark blue or navy. And then when you first open the cover has three different pockets this fits business cards in here i always use a washi card on there and then in the back here towards the book there's also like this one gigantic pocket and then in the back there's also these two sliding pockets so one up here and then one in the bottom the bottom one i keep this um like mini notepad from simply gilded and then over here i just have our mini holiday stickers which fits the weeks and the a6 i also use this in my cousin because they are small enough and i like it when they're small and not just like overbearing so that's about it for the pocket i really like it because it's thick it's not it's like a better hobonichi weeks cover let's just say it like that because i really do like that and then the tabs really quick these tabs are from Russell and Hazel. Let me take out my pencil board. There you go. And I got these from the container store. It is also available on Amazon and we'll have that link down below. These are vegan leather, so they're kind of soft, but they're also durable and they have some foiling on them. And then my tabs go all through 12 months. And then in the back right here, I have notes, list, work, home, kids, and a budget. And then each of them have about 10 to 15 extra sheets. And then I believe budget, I think I have a lot more than that because I wanted to have a lot of extra sheets for every single month. I haven't done anything really in the notes pages, but we're going to get there. So for the year overview, I haven't done anything to it either. Um, I just think that I was decorating more my cousin, but this time around, this is going to be my on-the-go planner. So I just didn't do any stickers on this one. So for this page, I am planning to track my period, my monthly period. It is very irregular, so this way I have somewhere to write it down. I'm not great with apps. I tried it before and I can't keep track of it. So hopefully this pages will help me with those. And then I have a separate um, habit tracker in my Hobonichi Cousin. I'll have that video linked down below or up here in a card. I already um, talked about what I'm going to do with the um, Calendex in that one and using it more as a habit tracker. This was December. Didn't do anything <laughs> except for a wax sale. Um, I have these dividers that are from Erica G Designs. They are cut files, meaning you have to buy the cut files and then you can DIY these at home. I didn't make these, she gifted these to me, but you can buy the cut files and do it yourself. So for January, which I haven't done anything to it because I am going to today actually, and like I mentioned, I have these little stickers which I'm gonna go through the entire planner and place these for the holidays. And then I'm also going to keep track of my bills here and also work days because I'm currently subbing for um, somebody who was sick out with COVID and so now I'm currently taking their um, position and hopefully um, 
I'll stay in or they'll take me on as part time. But yeah, bills and work hours. But this will be pretty much similar to my Hobonichi cousin setup. Again, I want my weeks to be as a companion to that. So if I need to go somewhere and I just need to carry something little, I can take this with me and pretty much have the same exact info as my Hobonichi cousin. So let's go to my very first week in the 2021 planner. This was the Thanksgiving, I feel like the week after Thanksgiving and I started tracking meals, especially dinner, expenses, grocery lists, and also habit tracker down here. I thought I was going to keep up with the stickers, but unfortunately I didn't. I was more comfortable with pen this time around, so we'll see how far that goes. Again, with the menu, grocery list, and then spending. I was just home during this week, so I didn't need to like keep track of time or anything like that. And then this was my first week at work. Um, I also did uh, spending things to do and then over here I kept track of my work hours and then over here was my food log and then over here I don't know why the sticky note is here but <laughs> should be there um, grocery list and then things to pack because I work overnight so I needed to pack stuff same thing here and this is the current week that I'm filming this I have to keep track of my hours if they're paid or not um, and then also little things that I have similar stuff in my Hobonichi cousin I didn't do well with tracking my food but I wanted to show you guys like a simple way and less pressure of setting up your Hobonichi weeks use it to what works for you because for me I was limited to how my sticker kits would look like so I started not using them and even here I only used the date covers the top and bottom which I like to keep decorative but then I used the dividers and also the habit trackers a little full box a little icon and it's pretty much the same setup without the sticker so I really like how this is going and hopefully I can keep up with it that's pretty much it and then I want to mention that if you put the tabs like that they kind of lift up and it kind of sinks in there so if you're writing end to end you're gonna feel something there but doesn't really bother me and then now we're gonna move on to my notes so in the notes section as I mentioned earlier I have list work home kids and budget I only have one kid so the note section i thought it was pretty so i kept it there i don't know how i'm going to utilize this for now we'll see but notes is just somewhere i could um probably jot down something on the go if i needed to write anything like something important that i need to transfer to a planner we'll go here list are things that i want to be just a brain dump of things maybe websites i need to like refer back to um for the shop so over here i have the work tab and this is just let's say if i have something like a customer emailed me or i need to follow up with something shop related it will all go under the work tab and then home stuff this is just like anything i had this in my discs before like our running um to-do lists when it comes to house so like let's say i needed to kind of fix up our bathroom i needed new towels new mats um replace certain things so that's gonna go in this page if i even do that this year um kids anything related to my daughter appointments at school school notes things like that that's for her and then budget um I have already done my daily spending in the weekly section so I just wanted to keep something here just in case I needed them. But yeah, that is pretty much my current setup and then in the back again I have the sticky notes and this will go in here. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below. Again, this is just going to be my everyday carry planner. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit of both, some stickering, some pen only, but keep it very very functional. So yeah, if you have any questions again let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!